So, y'all have been wondering what's my thoughts about WWE 2K22. And is the game great? Yes, but what's really, really weird is that if y'all saw the gameplay I did at the middle of the night on the release date, well, not the release date of the game, like the middle of the night when I uploaded a gameplay of it, the reversals can be tricky, which I know they tried to do that at, from the last game, you know, WWE 2K20, which... I mean, all you just do is just press Y, but it can be a little tricky, a little bit, just for the Y button or sometimes random buttons. And a lot of people did say that the game is a little glitchy. Like, when I pop the dead skin, it's not glitching on for me, but yes, it won't like install the disc because of uh well it's not an xbox series x console guy it's just a regular regular xbox that's just white but it does say wwe 2k22 for xbox one so yes it's literally like xbox one and so yeah um anyway guys don't forget to like comment and subscribe um yes i like like the game but it's still, like, for myself, for my own copy of the game, it's not glitching. And before I end the video, I'm not surprised that you have to unlock Dominic Mysterio. Which, I thought he was in the main game, which I didn't know you had to unlock him during the last part of the 2K Showcase. Which, I had a little trouble with it. On the part when you had to go against with the Eddie Guerrero. Oh, back on the WCW Hall Rain Havoc Bash pay-per-view from back then. But, yeah. That's my thoughts about the 2K22. The game's great. It, I'm not complaining about it. It. But, I uh, guess, I'm glad y'all all, all liked the unboxing I did this week of the game. And pretty cool skill bug too, not gonna lie, pretty badass. With this with Rainbow Series signature on it. But yes guys, I hope you guys like, comment, subscribe.